بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم و حمد لله رب العالمین و صلات و سلام اشرف المرسلین سیدنا و مولانا محمد المصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم بی مددكم و نظركم سيدي رسول الكريم يا حبيب العظيم الله هو الحي الحي يا قيوم 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 أنا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أنا أعطيك العجيز الضعيف ومسكين وظالم وجهل and always a reminder for myself أتي الله أتي رسوله للأمر منكم and that I'm a weak servant and on this blessed night in which the holy month of Rajab and the, the, the dhikr of that parde and that reality and that emanation Subhanahu man huwa khaliq nur and only Allah put within our hearts to understand that the physical night journey and the, the night of ascension in which Allah's beloved servant the Muhammad was called with his physicality for an audience in the Divinely Presence all the way to the presence of two bow lengths or nearer with physical body into the Divinely lights that no one can understand and no one can imagine giving the, the beatific honour and the dress of being presented to the reality of La ilaha illallah and that Allah dress that beatific reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah with physicality and spirituality fi mulk wa malakut that everything about that Muhammadan identity was to be blessed, dressed and brought into Divinely Presence. That on that night journey after a life of difficulty, struggling and striving that Allah sent for that Presence to be called and sent two angels, Sayyidina Jibra'il and Sayyidina Mikail and they brought water from Paradise. And they knocked on the door of Sayyidina Muhammad and began to describe that Allah is calling upon you, that you've been granted an audience with your physicality and Divinely Presence. And from that water to drink from that water, to bathe and to wash from that water and then to be dressed by a heavenly robe from Paradise. And with all that robe to be dressed and then presented to the Holy Prophet a buraq, a Divinely steed, some like mystic say like unicorn, a creature with a human head and the embodiment of a horse that that creature was brought for the ride and Prophet mounted that and the Isra is the journey from Medina into Jerusalem. And we'll go with just the physical then talk about the spiritual. In the presence of Jerusalem Allah had gathered all the Prophets and Messengers, 124,000 Prophets and Messengers were present in Jerusalem to greet the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad give their welcoming, give their salams. And then Prophet led them in salah and this is the salah that we are doing today. And in tashahud they gave their shahada to Sayyidina Muhammad reciting, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa habibuhu means that they accepted their Islam, that gathering and association to take place. So that all nations will have completed their religion by that event alone because every religion is only complete with the reality of Islam to dress it and the reality of Islam is only complete with the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and Ayatul Kareem and Qur'an that Allah asked from all the Prophets, if He is to come at your time 
would you follow and obey and waqalu bala and all of creation and all the prophets and nabiyeen siddiqeen shuhadahi wa saliheen all confirm to Allah that yes and that was the completion of their faith that Allah brought to them the most beloved of creation and that the religion of Allah is Islam and that perfection is sealed by the presence of Prophet with them then that's the Isra. The miraj now is through Jacob's ladder and ascension into the heavens and going from one paradise, two paradise, three paradise all the way to the seventh heaven and into the presence of God Almighty. And in that presence what we call Qawba Qawsaini wa Adana means into the presence where it can only be described as two bow lengths or even nearer keeping a respect that the union with the Divine not to mix creation with Creator. The La ilaha illallah to be separate and Muhammad Rasulullah comes to the, the mannerisms of keeping that distance. The immensity of that dress and the immensity of that gateway that represents 27 and that we described before 27 is a gate, its number is a gate. It has to do with the powers of nine and through that gate Allah brought up the Messenger of the Divine the Presence and showed many aspects along the way for our life to, to take a understanding in today. One is that the immense respect and love for the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad that Allah shows us that if the Creator in which all creation is seeking Allah's love, Allah, all, all creation trying to please Allah But Allah's love for Nabi Muhammad more ancient than anything that we can understand. Allah was granting that reality a pleasure and a happiness that I'm giving to you my love and I want to show my respect for you, my tashrif and ihtiram for you. And this is key in our lives when anyone says that why the mawlid has to be extravagant, why your associations you all have to look so nice, why you have to present your food in a beautific way. Why to represent yourself in a beautific way, why to fragrance yourself in a beautific way, why to, to, to represent Islam in the best of what you have. If you want to be stingy, be stingy upon yourself and others but in the way of Allah not to be stingy, to present the best of what we have and Allah shows by that example. That when I wanted to call for an audience I sent my archangels and the archangels came with all that love and that respect. I sent for them water from paradises for His holy lips to drink and His holy being to be washed. What an honour in this material world for the Divine the Presence to grant such an honour. And I grant him a dress that not just any dress to come into my presence but to wear the finest clothing from paradises. Means that when we're coming for zikr how Allah respected Sayyidina Muhammad Allah calls us to respect the same. Put the best of what you have. For every zikr and every association is an audience in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad We are the best of what you have, fragrance yourself, wash yourself, cleanse yourself. So, Ya Rabbi if you did all of that for the audience of Prophet then Allah inspires for us that don't you Come dirty to that presence. 
means the turuqs are teaching the schools of manners. Look how Allah respected the love and the light of Sayyidina Muhammad It's not our actions that will save us, it's not our prayers that will improve us, it's the good character and manners. If they are being my actions may be weak but for the sake of that love I want to shower before I watch the zikr, before I attend the zikr or fragrance myself. I'll put the best of what I have because of that audience. If Allah gave for that audience, imagine then the audience into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad where only your manners will bring you into that presence. Nobody entered by their actions and when they fragrance themselves, they wash themselves, they dress themselves, they offer the best of what they have to people to eat on these holy nights, these blessed nights we do every Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Whether you're with us or watching online, you present the best of what you have. Only Allah and saints and pious souls are in your homes watching with you. You put out the best of what you have for that reality, for the, the sake of that light and that blessings and that becomes this way of immense, immense lights. That how much Allah respected that light, how much Allah respected Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why in these nats and in these salawats they describe that celebrate in a grand way so that you get the attention of Allah and that that attention to dress us and to bless us, take every difficulty away from us. Is all we have is this blessing and this blessing and this love. Allah knows our weakness, Allah knows the deficiency in our character and in our aman. But only through this immense ocean of love and muhabbat is, is the way of success. So we pray on these holy nights from now to tomorrow night that Allah dress us with these lights and bless us with these lights. Subhana man huwa khalaqun nur that Allah grant from us the spirituality and the reality that glory be to the one whom created light and the reality and the haqqaiqs and, and the openings of Rajab is that Allah is a hidden treasure, God Almighty is a hidden treasure and He wants to be known and He's going to be known through the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah So it's an immense, immense reality that Allah is going to be known through this identity. Allah is going to be known by the reality and the light of Sayyidina Muhammad and all Prophets are from that light. So it means the love of the Divine is the love and the respect of the prophecy that all the Prophets of Allah to be loved and to respect, to be honoured. As a result of that honour, love and respect we gain the respect of the Divinely Presence. That you lived your life in an admirable way, in a respectful way, that you tried your best to, to, to live a life of exalting that honour amongst creation to teach them that the, the greatness of the prophetic reality and that becomes this way of tashrif. Our intention is tashrif is to raise the magnificent status of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad which we cannot raise it but to propagate and to teach about that. And that's the only interest that we have is the propagation of that reality. So that to gain Allah's favour and grace and Subhana man huwa khalaqa nur that Allah is coming to be known by this light. It's everything of this way of marifa and the immensity of this marifa is the knowing of that light. That when we have this love, when we have this respect and we described before with Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq. That when you truly love the Muhammadan light, you respect it. 
and anywhere that you find it you respect that Muhammadan light. The level in which you respect the Muhammadan light gains you access to the Muhammadan haqqaiq and the reality. The one whom doesn't respect through their ears the Muhammadan light and the Muhammadan teachings then they lose a great, a great opening from their hearing and the opening of their soul. Because the way is Samina wa tana, those whom can't hear a Muhammadan haqqaiq have hindered the reality of their soul and the soul's ability to enter into that presence, into the nearness of the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And same with every faculty of our existence, means that if our tongues can't be wet with the salawat and zikr of Allah that we can't use this ability to draw near to the presence of Prophet with Allah has given to us of our hearing, of our seeing, our breath, our hands, our feet and our every movement towards the Divine the Presence. Everything to open by that love of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that on this night Allah dress us and bless us only from our ishq and muhabbat and that we keep that love and that respect so that Allah open the reality of our ears and that we keep the love and respect of our eyes and that my eyes to be connected to their presence, my eye to respect their presence, my, my eyes to seek out that Divinely light, that threshold of Sayyidina Muhammad that Allah grant an honour to my spiritual eyes by that reality and keeping that ihtiram. By keeping the ihtiram of my hearing that I want to hear that reality, I want to obey that reality and I want to submit to that reality. That Allah grant us the submission to the Divinely Presence from Atiullah, Atiya Rasul wa ulul amri minkum and those ulul am whom are teaching that reality that our ears to open to that submission and draw near to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And by drawing near to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad they draw near to the presence of Allah Izzati wa Azammati wa Jabbarut that His might and majesty beyond comprehension. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaam ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen ila shaykh al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ali wa sahbihi kiram wa ala mishaykhina fi tariqatul ashbandiyatul aliyya wa sa'ir wa sadatina wa siddiqeen al-Fatiha. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. InshaAllah we have a program also for tomorrow and so that we can be dressed by the completion of these lights inshaAllah that coming down now and the, the feeling of the, the proximity to that love and the ishq of Prophet these are like rains of rahmah, there's like a rain only way to describe it is if like outside if you're dry in a desert and parched with thirst and all of a sudden Allah begin to send a rain. The coolness and the fragrant of that rain that dresses the soul and blesses that soul and that that tajalli to, to dress us and bless us that opening tonight inshaAllah till tomorrow night and that to, to receive its lights and its blessings inshaAllah. As much as Prophet is moving and moving and moving it's not once. It's at every moment and a fraction of that moment as Allah is expanding. So when we think it's just one time, no it's not that, it's the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah is connecting to La ilaha illallah because that's the kalima, everything exists within this kalima, everything in this creation. Now outside of this creation is something different, within this creation its law is La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah It's bound by that law and that reality. So as much as La ilaha illallah is expanding creation, Muhammadun Rasulullah is attached and moving towards that and is owner of that creation. 
So at every moment there's an fraction of a moment that miraj is taking place as Allah is expanding Prophet is moving into that reality. And this is a, a gate in which Allah grants for the seekers, especially the seekers whom have come all these seven months of love and understanding in these ropes and, and guidance of Shams al-Arifeen, these only Allah who understand this reality and that their responsibility is to bring people like on a rocket ship connected to the heart of Prophet into those haqqaiqs. By the time they reach to the seventh month they're entering into now the origin because the outside month is the dunya. You're going from the dunya on a circle and we're moving in to the center of all realities. As we get to the seventh month like a seventh veil, as soon as we hit that seventh veil we're now entering into Subhana man huwa khalaqan nur that the reality of how Allah wanted to be known and created this light. And as a result going into the reality of the creation of Muhammadun Rasulullah that 27 for regular people is a time for them to sit and to reflect. That reflect that Prophet is not like normal people. Look how Allah honoured, look what Allah granted of realities, look how Allah brought the physicality into a Divinely Presence where no physicality could even possibly exist. What type of pressure that physicality took to be in that Divinely Presence where anything that would explode how Allah kept it all together to be in that Divinely Presence. And that he came back while his bed was still warm, I mean all of that happened without the understanding of time, beyond the reference of time and space. So it means these are immense realities for all of creation on the 27th to stop and to remember and the people of Marifa they're entering into Rajab and asking them the dresses and the immensity of Subhana man huwa khalaqun nur. And that's why it's the month of seclusions, the month in which Allah grants lights, the month in which people what we call Rajab al-Tar al-Ajab because the immensity of the tajalli, Subhana ma huwa khalaqan nur, that tajalli the earth can't carry it. And as a result of the immensities of these emanations you find always ex- what's the word, amazing events happening upon the earth, immense events happening upon the earth because humanity can't carry these tajallis, that the the shayateen they become angered under these tajallis, they declare war under these tajallis, they they put every type of difficulty onto these tajallis because they cannot carry these Divinely lights and Divinely blessings. We described before that If you imagine that humans are covered with rats, their character, they're like rats all over them. And as soon as you shine a light, that light or that sound begin to burn these rats. And as soon as you shine these light the the rat is becoming so angry upon them is biting them and causing them to become anger, to become violent, to become all sorts of uh, craziness within their character. And that's the difficulty that people and humanity become less, less capable to carry these lights, to balance themselves without becoming overcome by the badness of their character. And as a result these lights they come and begin to dress the servant, bless the servant. Imagine these lights dressing the soul and pushing away every type of negative, every type of darkness and dispelling every type of difficulty. But it requires the servant to be patient that as these rats are biting and screaming and causing difficult characters that the one whom is in training they train themselves to be firm, they wash, they make their wudu and they try to regain themselves from their anger, their difficulties, their bad characters. 
So that to be dressed by these lights, there's not easy lights, these are not easy things to achieve. It requires istiqamah fi tariqatat wa Allah describes in Surah Al-Jinn, hold firm to your tariqah and if you do we shower water upon you. Why water? Because it's the oceans of Al-Hayat that from water we have created every life. It's an angelic reality that my, that this my that comes by keeping firm onto the tariqah, this is a water of life, this is an angelic light that Allah dresses upon the soul. Every blessing becomes from that, every power and energy begins to come from that. We pray that Allah dress and bless and, and complete His ni'mat for us to be dressed by Laylatul Israhi wal Miraj and the layl and the night is a time of fana, is a time in which we isolate ourselves <coughs> and disassociate from the busy world and as a result of the reality of layl and and going into our fana, going into annihilation and not to keep a manifestation. These are the times in which Allah dresses. That's why all holy events they start at night time and they dress from the night means that when they annihilate themselves, become nothing, isolate from people, this is the concept of seclusion, Allah can dress them, bless them until they begin to re-manifest through fajr and re-manifest into the world of active life and mulk. We pray that Allah dress us from these blessings and that grant us to see these holy nights and to be blessed with these holy days inshaAllah. In Ashraf and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa alayhi wa sallam kiram wa la mashaykhina fi tariqatul ashbandiyyatul aliyyah wa sayyidu sadatina wa siddiqeena al-fatiha